Hi and welcome to the session. I am Neha and today I am going to help you with the following question. The question says, Diagram of the adjacent picture frame has outer dimensions equal to 24 cm by 28 cm and inner dimensions 16 cm by 20 cm. Find the area of each section of the frame if the width of each section is same. So here we have a picture frame. So let's start its solution. First of all, for our convenience, let us mark the points on this picture frame. That is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So these are the points. Now according to the question, we need to find the area of the sections A, B, C, D, second, D, C, F, E, third, E, F, G, H, and fourth, A, B, G, H. Now, as it is a rectangular picture frame and the width of each section is same, so that means all the four sections are trapeziums. So, we need to find the area of trapeziums. So, first of all, let us recall what is the area of trapezium. Area of trapezium is equal to 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides into height where height is the perpendicular distance between these two parallel lines. Now first of all, let us find out the area of the trapezium A, B, C, D. So, for trapezium A, B, C, D B, C is parallel to A, D So, the length of BC is 16 cm, that is equal to GF. So, let's write BC equal to 16 cm and AD is equal to HE, that is 24 cm. Now, we need to find the width of this trapezium, that is the perpendicular distance between AD and BC. Let us name it as CX. Let us name it as CX and the width of the trapezium GHEF as FY. Now, as you can see that CX plus CF plus FY is equal to 28 centimeters. So let us write CX plus CF plus FY equal to 28 centimeters. Now, it is given that the width of all the sections is same. That means CX is equal to FY. So, we will replace FY by CX. Also, CF is equal to 20 centimeter. So, we will substitute its value and we will get CX plus 20 plus Cx equal to 28 centimeters. This implies 2 times Cx is equal to 28 minus 20 centimeters. That is 2 times Cx is equal to 8 centimeters. So Cx is equal to 8 upon 2 centimeters. That is 4 centimeters. So, the height for the trapezium ABCD is equal to CX, that is the perpendicular distance between the parallel lines AD and BC, and that is equal to 4 centimeters. So, let's substitute the values in the formula of area of trapezium. 
And let's find out the area of trapezium. A, B, C, D. So this is equal to 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides. That is AD plus BC into height. That is CX. Now this is equal to 1 by 2 into AD is equal to 24 centimeters plus BC is equal to 16 centimeters into CX that is 4 centimeters. Now here 2 and 4 will get cancelled by the common factor 2 and we will get 80 centimeters square. Now, as the trapezium ABCD and the trapezium EFGH are of same dimensions, that means the area of both of these trapeziums is same. Therefore, area of trapezium EFGH is equal to area of trapezium ABCD that is equal to 80 centimeters square. Now, we need to find the area of the trapezium ABGH and the trapezium CDEF. So, let us find out the area of the trapezium ABGH first. So, for trapezium ABGH, AH is parallel to BG. And the length of AH is equal to 28 centimeters. And the length of BG is equal to 20 centimeters. Now we need to find the length of the perpendicular distance between the two parallel lines AH and BG. That will be the height for this trapezium. Now in question we are given that the width of each section is same. So that means the width of the section AHGB is same as the width of the section ABCD that is 4 centimeters. So the height of this trapezium is equal to BP that is equal to 4 centimeters. Now let us substitute all these values in the formula of area of trapezium. And let's find out the area of trapezium A, B, G, H. So this will be equal to 1 by 2 into sum of parallel sides. That is A, H plus B, G into height. That is B, P. So this will be equal to 1 by 2 into AH that is 28 centimeters plus BG that is 20 centimeters into BP that is 4 centimeters. Now 2 and 4 will get cancelled by the common factor 2 and we will get 96 centimeters square. Now again, the dimensions of the trapezium CDEF is same as the dimensions of the trapezium ABGH. So this implies area of both of these trapeziums is same. Therefore, area of trapezium CDEF is equal to area of trapezium ABGH that is equal to 96 centimeters square. So our final answer for this question is Area of the section ABCD that is 80 centimeters square. Area of the section ABGH that is 96 centimeters square. Area of the section HGFE that is 80 centimeters square. And finally the area of the section FEDC that is 96 centimeters square. So with this we finish this session.
Hope you must have understood the question. Goodbye and take care.